Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's video blog. Um, I used some pretty uh, strong language or maybe some uh, thought-provoking language to get you to watch today's blog because uh, today's a really, really important subject. Um, <clears throat> I hope I don't ramble too much. Again, these are unscripted. Um, but something uh, I came across something last night that was uh, pretty interesting to me and it really made me think and made me want to, uh, to bring this up to you guys. Um, again, I hope I don't offend anybody with what I'm saying. There's no political affiliation with what I'm about to say. Um, there's no philosophical uh, positioning. Um, but I want you to understand kind of what the world is that we live in and, and where our information and our educational sources come from. Uh, first of all, <clears throat> the purpose of this blog is not to necessarily sway you in one direction or another with your health. Um, I believe in all situations that all different types of therapies are necessary. Uh, you know, for example, when Kelly was sick with the asthma attack, um, I didn't rely on the chiropractic adjustment, I didn't re rely on nutritional supplements. I had her butt in the emergency room uh, getting what needed to be done to save her life. Um, so there's a time and a place for everything. Um, I am of the belief that the body can heal itself. I am of the belief that if you give the body proper nutrition, proper nutritional supplements, uh, maintain a healthy nervous system, the body is strong and powerful and it can heal itself. While this isn't true in all situations, it is true in most situations based on my experience. That's my belief. That's where I come from. Um, that doesn't mean that I'm going to force that belief on you. Um, and I don't think it's fair for anybody to force a belief on anybody. Now, why am I saying this? Why am I bringing this up? Well, um, you need to understand that we live in a very politically oriented society, a very uh, a society that is very oriented towards agendas. Uh, my agenda is to promote natural, natural health care, to try to give us the best chance at healing in the long term and allow our bodies to function the best they can throughout our lives. Um, my opinion on how you do that is proper nutrition, chiropractic, proper rest, exercise, and a good mental attitude. Um, and stay away from medication as much as you can. Again, sometimes it's necessary, so please don't take me as being anti-medical. But that's my agenda. My agenda for this video is to create a resource where we have t discussions of topics um, so that should something come up for you or a family member, you have somewhere you can go to help you in your decision process. That's my agenda. Um, the agenda of pharmaceutical companies, obviously, is to sell more pharmaceuticals. Sometimes it's a great process, sometimes it's not. And the agenda that's used a lot of times is emotion, or the, I'm sorry, the method used to promote an agenda is emotion. Okay, again, I'm, I know I'm rambling here a little bit, but, but follow me on this. Last night, I, Kelly and I sat down to watch TV, and um, I caught the last 10 minutes of a telephone, or a TV show, uh, Law & Order, I think is what it was. And again, it was the last 10 minutes, so I could be off target here a little bit with what the show was actually about. But in the show, the part that I caught, there was a mom and she was on the stand and she was being interviewed by a lawyer or questioned by an attorney. And the attorney was basically harassing her because this mom had done research and she quoted a lot of the research that a lot of people that don't vaccinate their children use. This mom had done this research and she had not vaccinated her child based on her child's, uh, you know, she felt that that was the healthiest choice for her child. Well, this attorney was questioning her and basically trying to discredit her, you know, when did you get your medical degree? What makes you think that you can question what medical doctors are saying? These guys are the experts, blah, 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 you know, the whole, the whole discrediting thing that she could do. And the basic premise behind the story that I gathered was this mom had not vaccinated her child. Her child came down with the measles. Her child was then around another child who got the measles from this daughter that was not vaccinated, and the child, the second child, ended up dying. So they were actually trying the mom for murder. Uh, I think is what it was. So what ended up happening, basically, at the end of the story, the mom was found innocent. But they used a lot of emotional triggers in this story. Uh, for example, at the tail end of the TV show, the the grandfather of the baby that had died busted into the mom's house, shot himself in the head. Right before he shot himself, he told the mom, now you've killed two people, and shot himself in the head. And at the end of the show, it showed the detective that came in picking up a picture of this grandfather and his granddaughter. Okay, so this is a very strong emotional trigger. Um, I was very, very naive uh, up until the last, um, last year or so um, about politics, about how the TV stations are politically aligned and what the philosophies are and things like that. Well, this TV show was on NBC and apparently NBC is a very liberal uh, 
a liberal uh, network. And again, no judgment on that. I mean, I think Obama's doing a great job in some aspects. I think he needs some improvement in others. I mean, that's that's with any president. Um, but you have to look at the agenda of where you're getting information from. And it is it was very obvious to me in this TV show that they were using entertainment to promote an agenda. And it's very ironic that this whole vaccine issue came up just at the time when the swine flu vaccine's going on and so many people are opting out of it because of the dangers. Um, I, another thing that I thought was very interesting was they didn't take it and go after the mom directly because she didn't vaccinate her child. They went after the mom because she didn't vaccinate her child, which, which threatened the herd immunity, which has been a very interesting concept with the swine flu vaccine. They have been uh, really promoting this vaccine uh, issue as not an individual uh, uh, immunity to the to the swine flu vaccine, but more of pr doing it for other people so that other people won't get sick. Um, the herd immunity, again, it's kind of ironic, you know, it would have been too obvious if this had been a swine flu TV show, so they had to use the measles. But again, they were talking about the herd immunity. And the, the theory behind herd immunity is basically everyone gets vaccinated so they can protect the people around them. And, and an example of this is if you go and get the swine flu vaccines, I don't know if they're still doing it or not, but they used to give you a heart that said, I got vaccinated because I care. Um, so that's the, the angle that they're taking when they're promoting this vaccine. And it was promoted <laughs> through this television show. And a lot of times you'll see stuff like this. I, I saw a commercial with Jennifer Lopez talking about the whooping cough vaccine and they had this horrible audio playing of a baby coughing. I mean, it broke my heart, you know? They use emotion to sell this stuff. Now, why am I telling you this? I'm not telling you this because I don't think you should get vaccinated. I will never, ever, ever tell you yes or no on getting vaccinated. Um, my job is to give you information and allow you to make the choice. Free will is about you making choices. And I encourage you to please gather all the information you can about any health issue, not just about vaccinations, about any health issue, and make your own decision, okay? Um, but you need to question where you're getting your information from. I mean, this is an entertainment TV show, and a lot of people out there, if they're not thinking for themselves, that'll make them question their decisions. Um, and, and it's brilliant. It's brilliant the way that they're doing it. Um, but you don't see the stories of, um, of the, 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 the mothers who are miscarrying after they get the vaccine, the pregnant mothers. I had a patient call me a couple days ago, and she told me that she personally knew uh, a friend of hers and then a fr that was uh, pregnant and then a friend of that pregnant woman who was also pregnant, they went and got the swine flu and they miscarried within 24 hours. So these things happen. And again, I'm not telling you not to get the vaccine, but I'm telling you, you gotta weigh the options on both aspects of it. Um, Dr. Oz was on TV the other day. And of course, you know, Dr. Oz is, is very, very, very famous, very popular. And he was talking about the swine flu vaccine and how he got it, you know, he's mandated to get it because he's a healthcare provider and he got the swine flu vaccine. But then he also had mentioned in that conversation that at home, he was not Dr. Oz, he was dad, and that his wife was not getting his children vaccinated. You know, there are a lot of people that are questioning how this goes. And I question how it goes. I am in a situation, my wife is pregnant. My wife has asthma, two very, very severe risk factors. My children, you know, are all within the age of being high risk. Um, so I have to weigh the options. I have to do the same thing that you do. I don't have all the answers, but I gather the information and I make choices that are right for me, that at least feel right for me at the time. And that's what I'm asking you to do is gather information, look at the sources of what that information is from, credit it, discredit it, whatever you want to do, but do what feels right to you after you've gotten that information. Don't just jump into emotional decisions based on um, at a television show or a fear tactic that's put in from either from somebody who is anti-vaccine putting up a story about, uh, you know, I saw a story the other day about a 14 year old that came down with Gillian Barr. He was a healthy athlete and then all of a sudden he's paralyzed, at, uh, you know, 24 hours after getting the swine flu vaccine. I didn't put that video on this blog because I don't want to use emotion to sway you. I want to use facts and that's what you need to do. You need to gather facts and you need to make your own choices, okay? Um, you're going to hear all kinds of emotional stories out there both ways. You're going to hear all kinds of fear tactics both ways. Don't follow the fear, follow the facts, 
and make your own educated choices. Okay, so I hope that I didn't ramble too much, but that's what this whole blog is about. So please, just uh, you know, give, post any comments with me. I hope I didn't offend anybody here. Um, but if I did, you know, post a comment, let me know how I offended you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, all, I'm all for constructive criticism. Anyway, have a great day and, um, you know, get educated on any health care that you're dealing, any health care issue that you're dealing with and make the choice that's right for you. Not right for anybody else, not based on what they're telling you, but what's right for you. All right, have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.